Hey guys, I'm back with part 3B of my event editing tutorial, and what we were trying to do was we were trying to make guard number 10, which is the guard to the left, and to appear on the bottom of the sc below the character, below Terra, and they would both attack you, one from the top, one from the bottom, and they would kind of like pincer you, okay? So that's what we we're going to do, and this is a very good exercise because I believe it will teach you um, a, good def a good command, okay? The command that we're fixing to learn is the D5 command. This command means set vehicle slash entity speed, I mean position, position to, it's, it means set their position to whatever. So, you know, that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you what it's going to look like in the hex editor. It's going to say D5, and it will always, 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 if you're in the bank of C, and you're invent editing stuff like this, it will always, the next two bytes will always be the hexadecimal equivalent to that part of the map, okay? Now, I'm going to explain that very, very soon, okay? So, what we're trying to do is, we were trying to make, um, whatchamacallit, appear, um, the guard number 10 up here below you, okay? So that we need to find the tile that we want him to appear on. So go ahead and load up the level editor, which is very good to use, and um, do load ROM. And I'm going to go ahead and just find the. Uh, yeah, I'll just use the one I've been using. I don't usually recommend you use the ROM that you're editing, but whatever. Okay, so load levels, and there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and look for the map, which is Narche beginning outside. The beginning is the keyword. Okay, scroll down. Now we're going to go ahead, and I'm not going to go over the entire level editor, of course, but we're going to click the little green button right here that says events. And this is going to display all the events, okay? Now I want to go over to something called an event square. An event square is a tile on a map that, if stepped on, an event uh, executes. So what this is right here is basically if a character walks right here, an event's going to execute right here. That's what an event square is. There's long event squares where they're like a big field where you step on them, and then there's the short ones like this one, okay? So that's kind of what they are, okay? I just want to kind of give you a visual idea of what they are, and I'm going to give you the hexadecimal equivalent to all that. So what we were doing was we were trying to um, get him to appear like right here. His head's going to appear right here, so if we put him right here, you know, he'll, his head will appear right there. If we put him right here, his head will appear right there, and that's not really cool. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll figure something out, okay? So we're going to put him right here, and if you look on the bottom, it says 3843. Now, I thought in the beginning, whenever um, you had to use a Sleepy Dudes map editor to find all the hexadecimal equivalents to the parts in the map. That is not true, guys. You can actually take this decimal number and convert it to hexadecimal, and it's true. It stays true to the game. So that's 38 and 43. Let's remember that, okay? And I'm going to give you this link to this website, but it basically converts decimal to binary and hex. So you type in the number, just do 38, and that's going to be 26, okay? Now, I've already written it down, but yeah. 26, and then the next one was 43. So that's going to be 2B. So 26, 2B. So that's what we're going to be inputting in the hex editor, which I have not opened yet. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let me go ahead and open it. Open file for editing right here. Display offset as. That's Hiram. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let me go ahead and find the event script. I'm um, right. Uh, let me think. Yeah, um, we're trying to find his position. So we're going to go ahead and just write right here. We're going to find this action cube, begin action cube for character 10. 10, uh, 4 bytes long, D5. Okay, I think it was an 85 then. 85, D5. Okay, see, uh, yeah, this looks, no wait, this is definitely not it, no, this is not it. Um, I must have done something wrong. Den, I just said den, whatever. 3D, 10, 3D, 11. This is it right here. I don't know what I did wrong the first time. 10, 84, D5, whatever. So we're trying to make him go to 26, 2B. So we're going to, this is right here. Begin action for character 10. 4 bytes long with the prefix 8. D5, set vehicle slash entity position to 25, 20. These are the two bytes that are the hexadecimal equivalents to a tile on the map. So we're going to replace the first one with 26 and the second one with 2B. And FFNQ, save. But if we were to go into um, ZSNES and load it up, we would not see a difference. We would see that the guard does not appear, but we would not see him because the original programming thinks that he's still above us and he needs to go down so we can see. Him. So we're gonna go to his next act action queue and make him come go up one tile, so that way we can kind of see. Him. So this is it right here, and we're gonna copy that and go up. Ten, eighty-two, eight A F F. Okay, see now we're switching up. Ten, oh two, eight A F F. And here we go, 10, 82, 8A. So we're wanting, him, we're wanting him to go up one tile because technically he's below us right now. Technically he's right here. So we want him to go up one tile, so that way he'll appear. So we need to find the uh, command that makes him go up a tile. And I believe it's 80, but I just want to go ahead and get this for you guys. 80, okay, see? So begin action for character 10, 2 bytes long, 80. 
place that FFNQ save ROM. And I'm, you know what? I don't think I have a decent essay for this part. Let me see. Okay, no, I don't. I do not have any season essays. So let me pause the video real quick. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to get a season essay close enough to where I was editing. But anyways, I'm gonna load it up, and we're gonna see if there's a difference. Okay, I don't know why I'm loading that state to have it. But okay, here we go. Right here. And if all goes well, the guy, um, guard number ten should appear on the bottom, and then he should just kind of go up a little bit. And then it'll probably go down again and jack everything up. But there you go. You probably couldn't see because the text uh, text box is messing everything up. So um. Yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, uh, let's just let's change that text box and make it where it does not show the text box. I mean, I already covered that previously in 3A. So yeah, why, let's not, why not do that? Uh, let's find it. I'm gonna find this text here. It is 4B O D. So I'm gonna change the byte to make it not display a text box, so that way we can see the guard at the bottom. 4B 0D. This is it right here. 4B 0D. Let's change it to 40, which means do not display, and let's save that. And if all goes well. Uh, yeah, it should have worked. I mean, I haven't done it before, but, I mean, yeah. If it doesn't work, then we'll just suck it up. Oh, it did it. Yep, there we go. Imperial Magitech Armor. Not even Narshay safe anymore. And you can see the guy at the bottom. And then he goes and walks down. And I'll explain that real quickly. Basically, the game thinks that he's still above us. So, in order for him to get to us, he would have to go down. That's how the original programming was set. So, what we're going to do, of course, is we're going to make him go up. So, this is really simple, actually. We're just going to make him go up, like, uh, I guess, four tiles. And then that should work, you know? 9. 10, 0, 3, 8, A, C, D, F. And we got luck with that. I did not want it to spit out. String not found. Okay, begin action key for character 10. 3 bytes long. 8, A, C, D, F, F. 8, A is go up. No, go down, yeah. Go down 3 tiles. We want him to go up 4 tiles so he can reach us, okay? So let's go into the second. Oh, wrong one. Oh, yeah, here we go. Well, we got it. Let's go into this one and we're going to search for up four tiles and that command is 8c so replace 8a with 8c and then in the cd command this is one of those c turn commands cc means face up ce means face down cd means face right and cf means face left so because he's going to be going up four tiles we, we could really fd this or we could type cc and make him face up and then that would end his queue and he would go up and we would be able to see him too because the text has been changed with that flag that i showed you guys previously so yeah, if all goes well, he should attack us. Now we're just going to focus on the guy at the bottom, okay? Do not focus on the guard at the top. We're fixing to get to him. So yeah, here we go. And there he goes. Imperial Magic Tech Armor. Not even Narshay safe anymore. And he attacks you. And the guy at the top is still kind of messed up. He's still appearing to the right. I'll show you where he's appearing. He's appearing right, like right here. And we want him to kind of come from right here so that way it won't look corny. So let's get him to, uh, let's get this coordinate right here. This isn't too bad. Or, I don't know, let me, yeah, I guess right here would be good. Uh, 3831. So type this into this website thing. 3826. Why 26s? 26. And then the other one was 31. 3831. Oh, not 3 or 12. Okay. 1F. So type 1F. And you would get that. Yeah. 261F. So let's go into the uh, hex thing. And we're actually right next to. Wait, no, no, we're not. Uh, right here. This is it. You can just go up a few lines, but this right here is saying begin action queue for character 11, 4 bytes long, D5, set vehicles, position to, and this is it right here. And we were going to set it to CFR already forgotten. Uh, 261F. So we're going to change that to 261F. So change 27 to 26, and change the 20 to 1F. So that should be reading as begin action queue for character 11, 4 bytes long, D5, set position to 26, 1F, FF, and Q save ROM and it, then we're gonna edit his next action queue that's coming up where he goes down he's gonna try facing left or something like that yeah he's gonna try facing left we're just gonna make him go face down okay and the command to face down is CE that's one of the turn commands so this scene should be pretty much perfect and I hope I'm not going too fast guys but what we just did basically was we um we, we set the guard's position to a different spot on the map, we edited the upcoming action cues and made them look more appropriate, and we changed the way they turned so that way it didn't look too bad, and we also made the text flags be, um, where they did not just display the text box, so that way you can see the guard, the guard on the bottom. And there we go. Imperial Magitech armor, not even Narsha safe anymore. And they attack you. That's pretty much it right there. I mean, if you noticed, if you had a really sharp eye, you could have noticed that the guard kind of went two down into you. So I guess you can make him go down like four tiles, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Down four tiles. I like to perfect things. 
uh, 8E. So I guess if we did 8E, that would make him, yeah, do his thing. That would probably look a lot better, but whatever. Oh, I got you. Time real quick. Oh, 10. Okay. Uh, I'll have to do this real quick. I'm trying to cut him on 11, of course. Oh, great. Zeus knows how to control freeze. I don't know. And here we go. Imperial Magitek armor. Not even Narshe safe anymore. Uh-oh. I broke it. Uh, let's just stick with 8A. I mean, I'm wasting time. And if we, that should work, you know. I, I think I gave too many tiles to go down. Whatever. I mean, that's it. I mean, you're going to have your game freeze. I have yet to see anybody who's done any event editing in the game not freeze. Let's make him go down three tiles. No, two tiles. Because he already was going down three tiles, wasn't he? Great, I didn't see that one. Let me get this stupid thing to go away. Okay, that's 86. 86, and there we go. That should work. I'm kind of trying to go fast here, guys, so I don't reach my limit, but I think I made my limit, really. Imperial Magitek armor, not even Narshe safe anymore. And there we go. It looks better, because originally he had the guy's crotch and tear his head, so yeah, it looked messed up. But, guys, that, in a sense, was custom event building, okay? Let me pause the video.